We are at the moment by the memorial to HMS Argonaut, a Leander-class frigate, and with me is the widow of one of two crewmen who died when that vessel was attacked uh, on the 21st of May 1982. Margaret Allen, thanks for talking to us on GB News. Uh, tell us about your husband, Ian Baldy, the, the kind of man he was and what happened. Um, Ian was a very special individual, although obviously I'm slightly biased. But when he left to go to the Falklands, we'd only shared less than two weeks of married life. So we were so very happy. He was bright, he was loving, he was caring. He was very supportive and very protective of me. Um, and he was killed on the 21st of May, um, 1982, when 2,000 pound bombs hit the ship. He died alongside our friend, Matthew Stewart, who was killed on his 18th birthday. We're just looking at the photographs now with Matthew on the left and Ian on the right, two handsome lads, particularly Ian with some Scottish roots, of course. Yes. Uh, it's in the genes there. Um, but, you know, for, for you and, and so many of the families, it's 40 years on, but mm. the, the, the trauma of that time must live with you always. Yes, it does. It's, it's, it's difficult. You would think that 40 years afterwards you'd have come to some sort of agreement, if you like, with the past and the circumstances. But unfortunately, the circumstances were so difficult um, that, that for most of us, I think, it's taken a very long time to kind of get back into some kind of balance. And if we just come around to this side of the memorial, Margaret, you wrote a poem, of course, uh, for uh, your late husband. Uh, some of that poem, a paragraph at least, is inscribed on the memorial here. Could you just read that for us, please? These islands are so special that I needed him to be so warm yet strong in spirit to do this task for me. I will never take him from you. He will always be around. For where hearts are joined together, there my kingdom will be found. That's beautiful, very poignant words, Margaret. Thank you very much indeed for speaking to us on GB News. We really appreciate that. And we will be here throughout the day with coverage of that special service at two o'clock today, speaking to veterans and their families about their experiences 40 years ago.